Okay, here we are to talk about again. Um, how to start, you cannot start a, a YouTube channel, whatever it is, I'll name it the same thing. I've been doing this for a long time, and you know, I've I've learned that there is no real way. And I made a video just yesterday, but it was pretty popular. Eight, eight likes I got in like basically 24 hours or less. I just wanted to confirm what I said before, there is no real way. I watched about eight minutes of a video of a guy telling you how to make a channel and tell how you set up all these things. I did almost nothing that he set up. The only thing I was forced to do was verify with the phone number. And I told people before, never sign up with your real phone number. Go out and buy a prepaid phone or something. So if you get hacked, there's no way they can get your real phone number and keep calling you over and over again. So that's kind of stupid to use your own phone number. But um, I've been doing this a long, long time and there's really no way. I gave up on the tags. That's another thing I think is a real waste of time is tagging your videos. Some people think it's worth throwing in a tag so people can find it. Never did anything. I used to put, they say if you use dumb tags that have nothing to do with the video, it can hurt the, it can hurt the video and not help it. But then there were videos I did where I, there were, I had tags that were relevant. They had, like, a, I went to, if you go to a basketball game, I would put basketball in it. Or hockey, you never did a damn thing. Don't waste your time with tags. It's just a complete waste of time. There's nothing for you. Another thing that um, people are doing was thumbnails. They People think for some reason if you have a good thumbnail, somebody's going to watch your video. That's completely false. How do I know that? Basically from my Star Trek Laserdisc videos. When I have them online, I look up Star Trek Laserdisc, um, there's, there's people that have good thumbnails, and every time I look them up, they have roughly the same views every time. Whether two months go by or three months, it's the same thing. Thumbnails don't make a shit of a difference. And another thing is what your channel looks like. Nobody goes inside your YouTube channel. Nobody cares about that. That's worthless to them. Um, unless they're interested in seeing it. Other, other videos you might have. For the most part, they look at your video and then they go back to the search result and look for other stuff. If I, all I care about was channels like other YouTubers, that would, that would make a difference, but it doesn't. Other YouTubers don't care about what your channel looks like if there's a background. In fact, all I think is if there's some kind of weird purple thing in my background right now, I don't give a shit about it. I, <laughs> I really don't. I don't think it makes, it doesn't make any difference at all whether people are going to go on your channel or not. It really doesn't. I think I've proved, I've proved you can make shit content give you at least a few thousand subscribers. I'm almost at 2,200. Um, and that only started in the last couple of years. It wasn't like it started back in 2017. I rebranded the channel. I did lose some subscribers, but I'd say the bulk of my subscribers were, were pretty much the last year and a half, two years. I just started to get them all of a sudden. Uh, maybe I'll get some more today. I have no clue. But you know what? There's no way to really join this channel and have a huge success. I haven't had a huge success. I've only had a, a somewhat of a small success. Very small with people that are related to the videos I make. Like movies and stuff. I said a long time ago you should never just stick to one subject on YouTube. I still don't believe that. But I was getting nowhere with where I was, so I, ha I had no choice but to do basically unboxings. Actually, no, I still don't do one subject. Now that I think about it, I do several. I do unboxings. I do um, world events like going to the airport, tour videos at the airport, airplane videos, air takeoff and landing. I do um, a lot, mostly movie videos, but I do a lot of other stuff. You don't have to stick to one subject. You know how boring that is for some people? Some people want you to stick to one subject and say, Hey, I want to make, I want you to make just lousy unboxing videos every day. Or I want you to make some... Whatever, whatever it might be. I just don't understand why people do it so much. It, it's just annoying. I don't think it's right. I think it's wrong, actually. 
And I think some people should really straighten that out. There's a lot of people. And you know the one thing I hate of most of all is when you click on these videos to watch these tutorials, the people are getting paid for it. I mean, come on. This should be a free thing you do for the people of YouTube. You shouldn't be co collecting ad revenue for it. There was the guy, I was in the middle of it. I happened to um, scroll it down because I was reading some comments. And all of a sudden, I heard a commercial pop up. I'm like, are you kidding me? This this should be a free video. This should be a... Everything is money making. That's one thing I don't do. I don't collect money from my channel. It's pretty obvious. Um, from the frequency I get all the movies and stuff, I would never... Uh, I, I wouldn't... Even if I was monetized, I wouldn't have enough money to do that. Um, I'm going to tell you this. I've been around... I keep saying that over and over. I've been around a long time... And I think monetization is the worst enemy of any YouTuber. It's going to hurt them really bad. Because people are going to have to make a choice whether they want to talk about stuff they want to talk about or other stuff just to make a buck. Um, and unfortunately it doesn't last. All the bad stories about people losing money. I'll tell you one thing though. There's these people that were really famous on YouTube one day and they, you know, they disappeared. They don't make money anymore. Those people saved up their money and went and did something else. Did you think they were going to stay here forever? And then there's people like me that just want to do this for fun. Um, when, you do, when you do it for fun, there really is no way to tell someone, oh, you don't have a channel uh, that's successful. I think I'm successful with certain unboxings for when it comes to DVDs and TV shows. I have several of them on my channel that you cannot find anywhere else. All right, bye-bye.